my dear friends, we are blessed to have you join us wherever you are joining us from at this time for the chaplet of Divine Mercy on this Divine Mercy Sunday. We are praying with you from Walter Reed National Military Medical Center here in Bethesda. And we pray for our sick, we pray for all of you, pray for every member of your family. We hope that you will participate in this devotion to our blessed Lord. Ask his mercy, ask his forgiveness for the world, ask his healing for our world. Our opening hymn will be Psalm 51. Have mercy, Lord, cleanse me from all my sins. Have mercy, Lord, cleanse me from all my sins. Of mercy, Lord, cleanse me from all my sins. Of mercy, Lord, cleanse me from all my sins. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sins. Have mercy, Lord, cleanse me. If you are create for me, O oh God, to the steadfast spirit within me, O oh Lord, wash me from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. Have mercy, Lord, cleanse me from all my sins. My dear friends in Christ, the Lord our God is full of mercy and compassion. As we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday and we make our, de our, our devotion in this chaplet, we rejoice in the Lord's outpouring of forgiveness and healing. Through our baptism, we share in the death of Christ and we're buried with him. May we also come to share in his resurrection. Let us pray. God of infinite mercy, you chose your humble servant, Saint Faustina, to be the apostle of divine mercy in our time. Through her intercession, may we come to trust in you and your unfathomable mercy more fully. We place before you today the needs of a sick world, the needs of a frightened world, the needs of a despairing, depressing, and desperate world, the needs of our families, sickened, bruised, and broken, by the coronavirus. We bring the needs of our loved ones who have died from this disease, O oh God. We bring the needs of all those who are clinging on to life. We bring the needs of our caregivers, doctors, nurses, medical experts. Dear God, we bring the needs of the whole world and we ask your mercy and your kindness. Kindly look with your kind countenance upon us. Help us to grow ever stronger, especially at this time in our faith. That we might put into practice the works of mercy you have modeled for us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The chaplet of divine mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended, into the de descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eating our Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In this decade of the, of the chaplet, let us pray. Let us pray for all those who are so scared, living in fear of what the future holds, if life could ever be the same again. By the grace of God, may open our eyes of faith to see the beautiful plan God has for us ahead of this disaster. Eating our Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In this decade of the chaplet, we pray for our health workers. We pray especially for those who are sick at this time and may have died. Or those who are so sick right now because they risk their own lives for others. We pray for our military. We pray for our first responders, our police, our fire department, and all those on the front lines of this, of this battle. Our God may protect them and keep them safe. That God may reward their families for their sacrifices. Give in our Father, I offer you the body and blood. Soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In this decade, of the chaplet of divine mercy. I pray for all of you. I pray for your families. I pray for the needs of your life. I believe that my God and your God is a loving God. He is not a God who will school punish his children. He's a God who will bandage our wounds because he doesn't see us as sinners. He sees us as broken and wounded that you may feel the soothing love and compassion of God in your lives and in your struggling situation. 
you may feel and experience the calmness of his mercy. Amen. Yet sin, our Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In this decade of the Chaplain of, the Chaplain of Divine Mercy, I'll pray. I'll pray for our world leaders. I'll pray for those who, whose cooperation at this time is required for the healing of our world. I pray that the Holy Spirit may touch your hearts, that they may prioritize the health and well-being of their people over and above any and every other consideration. I pray too for all those who have expertise seeking for a cure for the virus. Pray that the Holy Spirit may provide them clear guidance, provide them imagination and good judgment that they may find an answer quickly and timely to intervene in this battle and change the course of our victory. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy.
mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments such as this, we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. The Litany of Praise of the Divine Mercy. Our response will be, I trust in you. Divine mercy, gushing forth from the bosom of the Father, I trust in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery of the most blessed Trinity, I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic, I trust in you. Divine mercy, from which wells forth all life and happiness, I trust in you. Divine mercy, better than the heavens, I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders, I trust in you. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole wide universe, I trust in you. Divine mercy, descending to earth in the person of the incarnate world, I trust in you. Divine mercy, which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Divine mercy, enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us, and especially for sinners, I trust in you. Divine mercy, on phantom in the institution of the sacred host, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the founding of the Holy Church, I trust in you. Divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism, I trust in you. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ, I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us especially at the hour of our death, I trust in you. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life, I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life, I trust in you. Divine mercy, shielding us from the fire of hell, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the conversion of hardened sinners, I trust in you. Divine mercy, astonishment of angels, incomprehensible to saints, I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed in all the mysteries of our great God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, lifting up, lifting us up in every misery, I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of happiness and joy, I trust in you. Divine mercy, calling us forth from nothingness into existence, I trust in you. Divine mercy, and praising all the works of his hands, I trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all the handiwork of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, in which all are immersed, I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts, I trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls, I trust in you. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear, I trust in you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of all holy souls, 
I trust in you. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope, I trust in you. Let us pray. God, merciful Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ, you have revealed your world, your love, and poured into our hearts the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. We entrust to you today the destiny of our world at this time of great peril, where all of your children around the world are ravished by this dangerous virus, the coronavirus, oh God. We entrust to you the destiny of every man and woman and child out there who is in danger of this disease, O oh God. Bend down to us sinners. Heal our weakness. Conquer all evil that beset us. And grant that all the peoples of the world may experience your mercy. In you, the true in God, may they ever find a source of hope and protection. Eternal Father, by the passion of the, and the resurrection of your Son, have mercy on us and upon the world. For we ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O eternal Lord, you command your separate image to be painted and revealed to us in the inconceivable font of mercy. You bless whoever approaches your race and a soul, all black, will turn into white like snow. O sweet Jesus, it is here you establish the throne of your mercy to bring joy and hope to sinful humanity from your open heart as from a pure fount flows comfort for the repentant heart and soul. May praise and glory for this image never cease to stream from the soul of every human being. May praise of God's mercy pour forth from every human heart. Now and in every hour and forever, may your favor and your mercy heal the world and every sick person today. May your mercy and your kindness grant forgiveness to all who have died. May your mercy and your kindness protect your children who lift up your hearts in desperation and despair to you. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would now ask our Blessed Mother to pray with us for our Holy Father's intention. We will say, one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one glory be to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For all those who have asked prayers at this time, I will say one our Father, I will say one Hail Mary, and one glory be to the Father for all of you, that our Blessed Mother may cover you with the mantle of our protection, that she may shield you as she shielded Jesus our Lord on the way to Egypt. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Before the final blessing, I'd like to take a minute to express my thanks to all of you for joining us in this devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus as we plead His mercy on this Divine Mercy Sunday. My dear friends, wherever you are, I'd like to remind you of this. That the God I serve is the God who sent His only Son. And as the Bible tells us in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved me, for God so loved me, for God so loved you, for God so loved your husband, your wife, your children, your parents, your grandparents, and all those we have lost, that he sent forth his only begotten son, that anyone who believes in him might not die, but might, might receive eternal life. The God we serve is a God who loves us, whose mercy is overwhelming. Scripture tells us he never punishes us according to our guilt. But at every instance, he demonstrates the power of his mercy. That's the God I invite you to at this time. Let us approach him with confidence, as the letter to the Hebrew tells us, and we shall find mercy, because he has said it, and he will do what he says he will do. That is what the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verse 19, tells us. So my dear friends, as we face the next days and weeks and months, let us trust that the mercy of God will heal our wounds, that the mercy of God will heal our world, that the mercy of God will restore and reconstruct this world. But I encourage you, don't let the darkness of this time darken your heart. Be the instrument of God's mercy and compassion through you, let the rays of God's mercy pass through you to heal every heart that you come in contact with in whatever small act of love and compassion and mercy. For the Bible says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. May God who has loved us, may God who gave, who gave us Jesus Christ as our Eucharist, as our Savior, and as our Redeemer, Save you, heal you, and redeem you. Save, redeem, and heal our world. For all of this, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Through the prayers of our blessed mother and Saint Faustina, may Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, we may now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. For our closing hymn, we will sing the beautiful song, Amazing Grace. We will sing Amazing Grace, verse 1 and 2. Amazing Grace, how sweet this song. I first.